Hello there, friendos and friendettes, it's your friendly neighborhood Omega, and today I'm hitting you with something a little bit different, a top 10 list. In this first installment, I'll be counting down my top 10 World of Warcraft tier sets, the armor sets obtained from the raids in the game. Each entry on the list will be from a different class, otherwise I would end up putting 4 sets from the Warlock or the Rogue or etc. on the list. In that case, each set could be seen as my personal favorite for the class it belongs to. These choices were based on the appearance of the sets alone, and do not at all relate to the bonuses the sets provide. This is purely based on aesthetics. Without further ado, let's get started. Number 10, the Druid Tier 15 set. Like most people, I imagine I find the general quality of the Druid tier sets to be underwhelming at best and mind-numbingly uncreative at worst. However, in Miss and Pandaria, the Druid repertoire was dragged out of the murk by this ominous looking set. The color palette, the design of the headpiece, the way it makes the wearer look like one of those demented Ents from Mortal Kombat, it's a big step up from what the Druids were used to, but it's still not quite on par with the other entries on this list. Number 9, the Death Knight Tier 10 set. From the moment I saw the Lich King and all of his frost-laden glory, I knew the Death Knight was bound for a tier set that emulated his menacing armor, and Blizzard didn't disappoint. While a different take on the, ahem, <clears throat> cool look of LK himself, this set won me over from the moment I saw it, and it remains my transmog on my Death Knight to this day. Number 8, the Warrior Tier 5 set. This choice had some rather stiff competition as most of the warrior tier sets, particularly the ones that came out of Burning Crusade, are incredibly high quality, intimidating, and detailed. But my number 8 spot goes to the warrior tier 5 mostly for its style. The massive horns, the particle effects on the shoulders, the pseudo wings cresting over those shoulders, the set is a cut above the rest in its detail. Much like its predecessor, tier 5 completely warps the image of the warrior into that well-armored demon soldier, but the design and color on the armor pushes it just a step beyond the other sets in the series. Number 7, the Priest Tier 13 set. Who would have thought something good could come out of the Hour of Twilight? Well, most players who actually had hopes for the final raid of Cataclysm, but we all know how that turned out. Believe it or not, something good was born out of the maelstrom of terrible bosses and a lackluster conclusion to the entire expansion, the Priest Tier 13 set. Similarly to the Druid, the Priest has only a few sets that lo really look worthy of being worn, and this set tops that list, even above the Priest Tier Ets 8 set, which originally took this spot on the list. What really gives this set the edge? The Helm. I've always had an affinity for any sort of armor or garb that cloaks the face or body and makes the wearer seem less human somehow, and this set uses the, what is eff effectively an eyeless crowned mask as its headpiece, providing it with a look of dread and mystique. Number 6, the Hunter Tier 16 set. Now we're really getting into the nitty gritty. The Hunter has a plethora of great sets to choose from, but I ended up settling on T16 for its style. It's so alien, the rounded textures, the cyclopedian style to the helm, the weird placement of the glowing lights on the joints of the armor, and, surprisingly, that ridiculously oversized color on the helm. Yeah, I actually like that silly thing. I think it really makes the helm unique. The entire set is a big departure from the normal medieval fantasy style, and honestly, I'm rather fond of its strangeness. Number 5, the Shaman Tier 15 set. Da voodoo is strong with this one, man. Ah, hell yeah, the set that every self-respecting troll, mmm, <clears throat> self-respecting troll, needs. A massive voodoo mask with smaller reprisals on the shoulders, glowing an eerie bright color, who wouldn't be intimidated? With the range of colors, the golden trim, and the design on that mask, this set stands out from the Hundrum of Shaman sets, and is the only real set deserving of a dignified troll shaman. And I guess it kind of works on the other races too, just not as well. Number 4, the Warlock Tier 8 set. I hope you like Tier 8, because I certainly do. I have to get this out now before I continue on with the countdown. I love Tier 8, almost universally, the exceptions being the Warrior, Shaman, Druid, and Paladin Tier 8s, because no one likes manskirts, I mean, come on. Several items on this list could have been substituted with Tier 8 sets, but ultimately I decided a few of them just weren't good enough, and I didn't want the list to be nothing but Tier 8 sets. With that said, I love this set. 
Really, I think this is the definitive set for Warlocks. This set was first shown when Grand Apothecary Putris bombarded the fighters of the Wrathgate with his own volatile concoction of the Necrotic Plague, and from that moment I knew some form of this set was going to appear in the game, and I was giddy like a schoolgirl amongst tentacles, eh, that was a little bit racist, when I learned it should be one of the one sets released with Uldwar. Those odd plates that just come out of the head and shoulders are... I don't even know how to describe them. They create such a strange look like the Hunter Tier 16, and that bony beak-like structure that juts out from the hood is reminiscent of old Italian doctoral masks and masks crafted from animal skulls, both of which I have a great appreciation of. This set is dark, creepy, and menacing. What more is there to say? Number 3, the Mage Tier 8 set. The Mage sets for me are largely hit or miss, but when they hit, they hit bullseyes, and the Mage Tier 8 set is my favorite example of this. Going back to what I've said before, I have a great love of hoods, masks, cowls, and helms that completely cover and or obscure the face, and the way this set does it is rather creative and imposing. It barely even looks like a Mage set. Combined with the fact that the chest piece isn't a long robe, which is usual for Mage sets, and the style of the shoulders, this set takes the cake of my ma favorite Mage apparel. Number 2, the Rogue Tier 8 set. 14 words. That headpiece is the most blood-chillingly creepy piece of armor in the game. Moving on. And by number 1 Raid Tier set is the Paladin Tier 12 set. So this choice might come as a surprise to some. The Paladin Tier sets, like the Mage, are largely hit or miss, but remember what I was saying before, well, when they hit, they really hit? Yeah, this is the prime example of that. And what really makes it for me is the headpiece. I cannot get past the way it looks, all of those glowing indentions in the helm that give the impression that the wearer is peering out through all of them. Combined with the hood and the floating bit at the back, which looks like the eye of Sar- I, I mean the floating piece at the top of Sulfuron Spire, this makes for what is the most visually impressive look in the game, and the use of ash, black, burnished orange, and red colors really make the set look like it came from Tartarus itself, what the Firelands effectively are. So those were my top 10 tier sets in WoW. Agree with me? Don't? Hate T8? Leave a comment below, and I'll see you guys next time.